So we posted up that we were coming to Ponies in the Smokies. They put out a thing trying to find some customer cars to shoot. And one of the customers answered was Todd here. And as soon as I saw a picture of this 70, even I love Grabber Blue to begin with, but the work on this car is absolutely amazing. Todd, thanks for being in the car out. Sure, yeah. Tell us a little bit about what's done to this car. I mean, it sure. looks obviously it's a 70 fastback, which everybody loves to begin with, but there's a lot more to it. Yeah, so it's 70 fastback, um, definitely a resto mod car. Um, we got an 03 Cobra engine in it. Uh, got a TR60 60 out of a, a 2007 GT500. Okay. <laughs> got an 8.8 .8 in the back, still on leaf springs, but it's got an 8.8. .8. Um, you can see it's got Cobra brakes or 13 inch brakes on the front. Got four, uh, Brembo calipers on the back. We've got a, a standard Col Cobra rear brake setup on it. Um, the kind of the best of the classics and the best of the modern right. Mustang all kind of yep, put together. Exactly. And that, that was that was kind of what I was going for. I love the outside looks and the body line, so I didn't want to mess them up too much. Gotcha. Um, and that's why, aside from the wheels and the brakes, you can't really tell that it's a, a resto mod car from the outside. There's nothing crazy for, for you know, like exterior cues or anything like that. I keep tried to keep it a stock style. Look. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And even, even when you go into the interior, I mean, there's there's touches of resto mod, but most of the interior looks like a stock interior. Now tell me, what made you build this particular car? Is there a story behind it? Is there history with this car? My first car was a 1970 Fastback. Okay, okay. Um, my dad and I, we got it when we were 14. I spent a year and a half putting it together. You know, had a 351 Cleveland with burnt valves and rust all over it and everything <laughs> We've else. We've all had you know, those cars. So I, I, throughout high school, I ended up uh, doing a lot of work to the car. Um, Got into college, decided to sell it. Okay. And then, We've all you know, done that too. three or four years yeah. later, you're like, I'd really like another one again. And I, I bought this thing. It was complete rust bucket. Um, ended up, uh, this is, I bought basically every sh piece of sheet this metal you sheet can metal think, of, think of. Yeah. Com comes from you guys on it. But, um, and basically had to cut out a whole bunch of, of, of rusted metal. Lots of years, lots of time going into it. Um, I ended up moving the car across the country twice. Unfinished. Unfinished. Okay, which is a process in itself. Yeah. Uh, so, lived in Indiana at the time when I bought it, moved out to California, now I live in Tennessee, and uh, just finished the car up two years ago. Okay. So, the process, I started it in 2007. So, you got some time into and it. And let's just say there was, a, there was some quality time where it sat in the corner of the garage, <laughs> not being worked on. We've all been there. So, two more questions for you. Uh, why Grabber? I mean, I love Grabber Blue. I've had Grabber Blue cars. Yeah. Is it, was the car Grabber to begin with? No, it was actually a red car, I think, to begin with. I've, I've never, I mean, it was, it was black primer and everything else when I got it. Nine different colors yeah, of, yeah. Yeah. But um, Grabber Blue, I, so I, I originally when I was going into it, I, I was thinking like a darker gray, you know, kind of like Eleanor type thing. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, after you see Grabber Blue in person, you're like, it pops. It pops. <laughs> it and you can see pops. this car across the parking lot and people yeah. walk oh, toward it. As soon as you turn the corner, I'm like, oh, there he is. We're yeah. good to go. And whereas, you know, if it was just a dark gray car, it blends in. Nobody will look at it. They'll just walk right by. Yeah, so I hear it, you there. It, it, people just flock to it because of the color. And so, I love it. So under the hood, you did the Terminator swap, yep. which, I mean, everyone does coyotes now. Uh, the Terminator being at this point in time, probably twice the cost of a Coyote. Yeah. Why a Terminator, not a Coyote swap? I started the car in 2007. Oh, so there wasn't a Coyote. <laughs> right. So I, I ended up buying the motor. I had a T56 I was going to throw behind it at the time as well. Okay. Um, bought it in 2008 and actually had stuff kind of together in the car in 2009 timeframe. Okay. Okay. But a lot of things ended up happening, moving across the country twice and everything else. Never got it together until about two years and ago. And it happened to fall into place Right, there. yeah. So, so, I mean, the car's obviously beautiful. I love what you did to it. Sure. Is it done? Yeah. I mean, we always ask well, that question. No one, I, no one's ever told me their car's done yet. They're, they're <laughs> never done, right? I mean, I have a little list of parts and stuff like that at home where you're like, well, everything is good right now, but I want it a little better or I, I mean, want to improve it. I mean, bigger blower, more power, anything like that? Not or yet, no. Everything is... Yeah, they're, they're, it, a lot of it's working out the little kinks and yeah, stuff. Yeah, well, um, a custom car like this, it takes right. some time yeah. too. I mean, how much have you driven the car? Got, I know you see you got it done recently. It's like 1,600 miles on it since I got it built. Okay, um, so you're driving it. Yeah, it. Yes, I mean, it, it's still not driven a lot yet. Yeah. Um, I want to keep it fresh, want to keep it looking good for a little bit, and then, you know, we'll yeah, get it, it on the road how soon. many years to get it done, right. so now it's enjoy the work. Yeah, I, I, I have plans later in the year to, to Take it like cruising the coast down in um, uh, Mississippi. Okay. So there's there's plans for more mileage this year. And for the work sure. was this mostly done by you at home? Yeah. Everything except for the, the final bodywork and paint I did myself, um, including like mod modifying the shock towers to get the motor to fit. Wow. Okay. All the welding work for the panels that are on the car. I mean, at the end of the day, I replaced the firewall, the cowl. Now, do you think like that everything. for a living, or is it just this is a no. pure hobby for hobby. you? Hobby. Yeah. Well, seriously, I've seen some nice builds. Beautiful work. Thank you. Especially doing it home yourself. Thank you for sharing it. Great car. Thank you very much. Thank you.